So in the last video we have seen how to draw this pattern with the help of two nested for loops. So what if we can just use one nested for loop to print this pattern? Is it possible? Let's try it out. So let me remove this the, the second for loop. Let's focus on the first nested for loop here. Now instead of printing five rows, let me print nine rows at, a, at the same time. So let me print nine rows. Okay. And if I run this code, if I run this code with the nine rows, you can see we got this output. But it, we, we, we don't want this, right? We, what we want after the fifth row, when you go for the sixth to ninth row, you, your the value of your j should decrease, right? So how to achieve that? So for sure, something has to happen after your i becomes greater than five, right? Or i if your i value is greater than five, then we need to do something. We need to do one or uh, that way to do something when your i is greater than five. And if you observe, uh, we just want to print uh, j four times here, three times here, two times here, and one time here. So if you just add the value of i and j, so your value of i here will be five, or sorry, six, and your j is four, right? So six plus four is ten i here will be 7 and j is 3 so again 7 plus 3 is 10 uh, then we have 8 plus 2 is 10 and 9 plus 1 is 10 right so so it should print only when your i plus j is equal to equal to 10 if it goes about 10 if it goes about 10 we can simply say break because we don't, we don't want to print in that way if, we, if it goes about 10 i don't want to print this and if i run this code you got the pattern right quite simple so once again something should happen when I, when your i value is greater than 5 okay and oh, even if i i think it should find on this let, let me remove this code just for the experiment purpose and if i run this code oh we got the same output uh, so we don't require that 5 there so we, if if your i plus j value is greater than 10 that means uh if here if you are if your j value is 5 oh, we got the same output is it Okay, so let me not run this once again. Okay, so if your j value is or i plus j is goes about 10, then we have to say break. Quite simple, right? So that's how you can achieve this pattern in one nested for loops. So that is from this video. So if you have liked this video, do subscribe and thanks for watching.